Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Hammer. I'm a professor in the Stanford University School of Medicine. I wanted to chat with you about how we can activate the vagus nerve and reap several beneficial effects on our health by doing so. What is the vagus nerve? The vagus nerve is a long nerve that emanates from the base of our brain, goes down our neck into our chest and abdomen and sends branches to our eyes, our mouth, our throat, our heart and lungs and our digestive system, as well as other abdominal organs. And when activated, the vagus nerve has the effects of slowing our heart rate, lowering our blood pressure and lowering our blood sugar as well. When we are acutely stressed, whether it's an actual threat such as being chased by a bear or simply stressful thoughts like we have a conflict with a good friend or our spouse, for example, or we're worried about what's going to happen the next day, we generate this acute stress response. The sympathetic nervous system is activated and the so-called fight or flight response occurs. This is manifest by an increase in adrenaline in our body as well as another stress hormone called cortisol. Heart rate goes up, our blood pressure goes up, our blood sugar goes up. These are unhealthy if they persist. So if we don't neutralize this acute stress response, it becomes chronic stress. Chronic stress with the heart rate, blood pressure, and glucose changes predisposes us to the four major chronic illnesses associated with aging, including cardiovascular disease, metabolic syndrome or type two diabetes, dementia, and even cancer. So it's really important for us to have tools that will neutralize this acute stress response. And we do so by activating the vagus nerve. One way to activate it is simply by the use of pressure. So we can apply pressure to our neck, specifically over that pulsatile carotid artery in our neck. We can use an object like a softball or a grapefruit or even our hand. And when we compress gently the carotid artery on one side, we activate uh, the carotid sinus. The carotid sinus is fooled into thinking that our blood pressure is elevated and it sends out signals that will lower our blood pressure and also lower our heart rate. So this is a compensatory mechanism induced by pressure over the carotid artery and specifically the carotid sinus. So we don't want to do this for too long or too hard and certainly only one side at a time. But simply by applying pressure over the carotid artery for a couple of minutes, we can activate the vagus nerve and bring our body into a state of homeostasis and reduced stress. I hope that's been helpful. And next we'll discuss how we can activate the vagus nerve simply by the way we breathe. Thanks for listening.